Hi there, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in this video, we're going to show you how to properly paint a beehive. You're going to need all the parts of your beehive. You're going to need the paint that you want to paint it with, your paintbrush or a roller, and something to stir your paint with. You also probably want to make sure that you cover the area that you're going to be working on and throw on some old clothes. Painting a beehive is simple if you remember the basic principles. You paint the outside and you leave the inside where the bees live unpainted. While it's not necessary to paint your hive, and some people choose not to do it at all, painting a hive will help it stand up to the elements and last longer. Paint helps protect wooden hive parts from the snow, sun, wind, rain, and many other elements. Before painting your hive, you will need to coat the hive in an exterior primer before putting your first coat of paint on it. The color of primer is not important, but primer is important because it helps to protect and seal your wood. It also helps the final coat of paint to adhere better and helps the surface resist moisture and mildew. Our hive came already primed with a white primer. So since our screen bottom board did not come primed, Scott's going ahead and painting the outer edges of it with a primer. The easiest way to remember what to paint and prime and what not to is anywhere the bees are going to have contact, you want to leave that surface unpainted. When choosing a top coat color, white is a classic color to pick for a hive, but almost any color will work. It's best to avoid black or other dark colors because they absorb the heat and can cause your hive to heat up during the summertime. However, if you're in a colder climate, you may choose to use a dark color for that very reason. Any leftover exterior house paint that you have lying around will work. And if you're not too picky about the color, you can save a few dollars by choosing some oop paint in the clearance section at a hardware store. As long as the color's not too dark and it's exterior paint, you're good to go. One thing to consider when choosing the color to paint your hive is whether or not you want your hive to blend into its surroundings or stand out and be noticed. If you have neighbors close by who may not be happy living near a beekeeper or your hive is in a place where it might be vandalized, it might be best to go with muted colors that blend into the surroundings. This light camouflage will help the hive remain unnoticed to most passerbys. If this is not important to you, then go ahead and have fun with it. Get creative with colors, patterns, the bees won't mind, and it can make for an interesting conversation piece in your yard. This can also be a fun project to do with children who can come up with some amazing designs. Painting a beehive is simple if you remember the basic principle. You paint the outside and leave the inside where the bees live unpainted. For your wooden hive stand, you paint all of the surfaces. The hive stand needs to stand up to the elements. If you're using pressure treated wood for your hive stand, you will not need to worry about painting it. Do not paint the inside. Again, some people choose not to paint the top and bottom edges because they find it causes the hive bodies to stick during warm weather. Most beekeepers that I've talked to do not seem to have this problem though. For your frames, you do not paint your frames at all. Your inner cover, you do not paint your inner cover at all. For the outer cover, you paint all the wooden surfaces on the outside. Paint the bottom edges and the inner sides. Do not paint the inside or the underside. And of course, you do not want to paint your metal top. For the bottom board, you want to paint all the wooden surface surfaces. Do not paint the screen if you're using the screened bottom board. The bottom board gets the most abuse, so it needs to be well protected. Any questions on how to paint your beehive? Let us know in the comment section and we'll be happy to answer them. As always, if you're looking for more urban homesteading inspiration, visit dayswellspent.com.